In today's video, Scorpio, what motivates you and what drives you? Hey everyone, welcome to Astro Scoop. This is Jeff, the astrology coaching channel that does a deep dive into the planets and signs of the zodiac. Today's video is the second Scorpio video, what motivates and drives the scorpion. Please check out my first Scorpio video, which was sort of Halloween themed, and I think you'll find it valuable in understanding the basic traits of Scorpio. So one key motivator for Scorpio, and this is basically true for all levels of Scorpios and different generations, is because Scorpio is a mysterious sign, and because Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Mars, Scorpio is a powerhouse, right? So Scorpio's main motivation, we could say, is power. Wielding power, controlling power, and this can be in all forms. This can be emotional power, psychological power, emotional resources, financial power, social power. So there's a lot of different levels of transformation that a Scorpio can go through in his or her lifetime. Scorpios, because they're so powerful, they can both receive it from others and give it. And Scorpios have an instinctive understanding of the give and take of power and resources, especially spiritual or emotionally. Now, Scorpios get a bad rap sometimes for being an evil sign, vindictive, ruthless, vengeful. And I'm sure there are some people that are like that. However, the majority of Scorpio people, I'm guessing, are good, honest, true blue people. Of course, it all has to do with evolvement and our maturity level. One thing people often forget when they mention Scorpio in terms of how Scorpios are motivated or driven is that even though Scorpios don't necessarily forget a slight, an insult, or a betrayal, equally, Scorpios don't forget kindness. And I had a friend when I was in first grade, I had a best friend who was Scorpio, who is Scorpio. And I didn't know it at the time because we were so young, but I knew as we grew up that he fit a lot of those loyal, strong, honest Scorpio traits and values. And the Scorpios I've known, I really see that to be the case, that Scorpios equally do not forget a kindness and how you treat them and how you treat other people that they care for or they protect. Another motivation for Scorpio people is cutting away, this sort of concept of cutting. Scorpio is a very insightful, discerning, and penetrating sign. And Scorpios, most Scorpios can cut away at the lies, sloppy thinking, and just basically superficial chatter that's all around us. So Scorpios like to go beneath that, go beneath the surface, cut away the superficial chatter and the superficial noise, so to speak, to get to the heart of things and get to the truth. This is one of the traits that I love about Scorpio people and that I really identify with when I talk to them or relate to them. Because even though Scorpios can be very strong-minded, very willful, or incredibly opinionated at times, even in a quiet way. The, a Scorpio that is being straight with you and meaning what they say and saying what they mean and being true blue, it's a beautiful, beautiful, pure quality. And for the higher Scorpio, someone that's more evolved than a Scorpio person that takes those, those lower routes of revenge, that's a, a lot of those themes are in movies and novels about people taking revenge on things that even are very, very minor slights. If the Scorpio person can evolve, evolve beyond that to where they, they can be a healer of sorts, it's a wonderful thing. Let's talk about the Scorpio decans. Decans or decanates just means tens. The first Scorpio decanate is true Scorpios, double Pluto ruled, ruled by Pluto, and also in the Pluto decanate. The celebrity I chose is Chris Walla, and he is a guitarist for Death Cab for Cutie, which is an indie alternative band. 
He's also a film score producer and producer in general. And the reason I picked him is, even though he's not the front person of the band, Death Cab for Cuties lyrics and music has a certain, I think, hypnotic, alluring, and mysterious quality to it. And I really do believe it's because of Chris Walla's guitar input and also some of his songwriting. And he really gives an interesting quality to the band. And of course, the lead singer, Ben Gibbard, is a Leo. He brings magnetism as the front man for the band. But Chris Walla, I really believe, gives a really strong Scorpio-like creativity and intensity and alluring quality to the band's music. Third to November 11th is the Scorpio II period. And these people are very serious and sexually oriented and also can be sort of escapist as well. A celebrity I picked is Neil Gaiman or Gaiman. He's born in 1960. He's an English writer of graphic novels, American Gods, The Graveyard Book, and plenty of others. And I think in his work, he definitely displays these sort of Scorpio II characteristics of being serious and sort of escapist at the same time. And Scorpio II people, in my opinion, are as intense as the first decanate, although it's a little bit more spread out in their work, and it may not be as single-minded or in one particular blast of energy. But Scorpio II people definitely have a lot of depth. A pro tip for Scorpio II people is to not take things too seriously. And of course, if you're a Scorpio of any decanate, there is a seriousness and a potency to your personality. But particularly with the second decanate, there's a very serious theme there. So if you can be creative and deep and try to be a little sunnier or a little more relaxed, that will work for you. November 12th to the 18th comprises the Scorpio III period. And this is the last decanate of a full Scorpio. And the celebrity I picked is Neil Young. And of course, Neil Young is extremely well known as a guitarist and songwriter from his group Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, and also from a prolific, prodigious amount of solo work. And Neil Young, in my opinion, is probably only second to Bob Dylan in terms of popularity and respect when it comes to songwriting in the pop, folk, and sort of independent music world. And Neil's music really does have, I think, a sort of natural charm to it. I don't know how else to explain it. It's interesting that Neil's songs are relaxed, almost like um, Torian, almost like a Taurus, which is Scorpio's opposite sign. But Neil's lyrics and the emotion in it is potent. His music and songwriting to me is very together and it's well oiled. It's a well oiled machine, so to speak. And even though all of his songs are not great, that's true of any singer or songwriter or anyone that's creative, any artist, etc. Shows the late Scorpio period. And of course, these Scorpio people that are in the third decade are coming up very close to the Scorpio Sag cusp, which adds a little element of adventure to these Scorpios as they come up to the cusp. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and talking about Scorpio and the motivations. I really do appreciate it. Please consider subscribing. This is Jeff with Astro Scoop. Until the next time, stay safe and be yourself.